Hello, uh, welcome back to the Oracle SQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss about a uh, couple of interesting questions. And the first question is this. Uh, so let's say here is my employee table. And uh, in my employee table, I have employee number, e name, and department number. And I have department table where I have department number, department name, and location. So if I query from my employee table, I will get about everything just everything about employee and then the department number but the question I'm asking here is that write a query that will give me uh, information about so information about employee and the department where they work that means what I want is from this table I want employee number e name and also I want the location where the location where they work All right so so essentially if I I cannot get if I do select from this table I cannot get the location and what I need to do is I need to probably get some information from this table and get some other information from this table okay so my uh, the point here is that simple select will not simple select from one table will not fetch my corresponding uh, data that that I am looking for alright so how do you solve this problem to solve this problem we have to since you know that you know some some columns are in this table some columns are in this table then why not we are going to do something like uh, select uh, let's see in this slide so so why don't you do something like this you select employee number e name and then department number and also you get department number location and then you select from two table okay so if you do this so this is basically what my common sense uh, is uh, telling me right so let's basically get all this thing from, from this thing and if you run this query and then you are going to get uh, the, the the resulting output will be something like this so what is happening is that I am getting uh, so, so here in the in the, the resulting resultant uh, data set, what I am getting here is that looks like for every employee, okay. So, the employee number seven eight three nine king, and this department for, for because we have fourteen rows in employee table, okay. So, for each of the and then we have four rows in department table. Okay, so four rows in department table, fourteen rows in employee table. So the answer of this query is looks like a Cartesian product of these two table. Okay, so the Cartesian product of this table, and then what we are getting here is that we are getting uh, seven eight three nine king ten ten accounting New York. Well, this is not definitely what we are looking for. Is we are looking for fourteen rows because I asked in the previous question what I asked is that get me the employee number employee name and the location where they work so if you ask yourself the question is that King King is uh, working in department number 10 and that department number 10 is New York so this answer is probably correct but is this answer is correct black whose department number is 30 and then department department number 30 uh, if you look at this table department number 30 is in Chicago in sales right so looks like this thing is wrong okay again clark uh, his department number is 10 and 10 is 10 is accounting new york so looks like this is again correct okay jones working in department number 20 but department number 20 is not in new york okay so let me basically get the department table so that you know it's, it will be this will be easy to visualize so so okay so uh, now let's uh, do this thing so uh, Jones is 20 and so this is not correct let's check any row Jones 20 uh, department number is 20 and then he's in dollars so department 20 is dollars the answer is yes so this is a correct but Martin department number 30 but in department number he is 20 again this is wrong so what essentially we are going to do is there any method 
is there any mechanism by which we can filter and how do we filter if we filter using whatever the value of this department number to the value of this department number if they're equal then that means that is a correct row all right so that is essentially what is a join okay so by putting this condition by putting this where condition what I make sure that I filter wherever I get this uh, this column is equal to this column and then that is the selection that I'm interested in all right so essentially by putting this clause we make sure that we can answer our question our, our question that I asked in the, in the, in the first uh, time okay so basically this is what is called join okay so this is join and in fact since this is a equal sign is there it is called equation some people also call simple join okay so this is called equation and simple join and then there are some other terminologies are there we are going to discuss in the last slide okay so so this is what is called join and it's join is a very uh, you know interesting concept in early BMS and, and this join is basically happening because we are storing data according to normalized normalized forms okay if you if you put all the data in one table then we don't have to join it uh, another table to get this data since to make our data less redundant to avoid redundancy we normalized so that's therefore we kept in different different tables and now whenever you want to get the output you know you know get the information from different tables in a meaningful way so that is where you need to do a join join is nothing but a condition that what we are going to give here okay so and this is called equijoin or simple join uh, so that's that's what it is okay okay so let's go to the next question and the next question is I'm going to ask you is this very simple again Uh, I have an, I have a table uh, called EMP and in my EMP table I am getting employee number, e name, sal and just like this and I have another table called sal grade okay so sal grade means you know if the grade 1 if the salary is in between 700 to 1200 then you are means you are in grade 1 if the salary is between 1201 and 1400 you are in salary grade 2 so like this so sal grade table tells me what is my lowest salary and highest salary for a particular grade and in employee table it tells me what is my salary so then the question I'm so if you know this is the background of the two table and what I'm asking here is, is this question can you get write a query to get the employee number and his grade I'm not you know I know what is salary but say for example the answer of you know the, what, I, what, I'm, what I'm expecting here is that say employee name is King and King salary is 5000 so 5000 is, is, is belongs to this grade number 5 so King is 5 black and black salary is 2850 so that is following in number 4 so grade is 4 so on so how do I solve this problem okay so the problem here is we have two table and in one table I'm going to get the name from another and also the salary and using that salary I'll determine which grade it is following and the information is there in this sal grade table about the grade and I need to do again since I'm going to get the data from this two table then I must have to select from EMP and sal grade but here is the difference between the previous thing that we learned whenever we are giving that example of employee and department versus to solve to this problem so this problem can be solved by this query so what I'm doing is I'm selecting employee name salary and grade again from two table employee and sal grade where what I did is e dot sal so means this value e dot sal is in the cell between the sal grades low sal and high sal right so if this condition satisfied then whatever the value that the grade is coming so that will be my S grade okay here 
it is it is similar to the join that we discussed in the last type like simple join or equijoin but here there is no equality sign all right so here the operator is something called between and and therefore this is called non equijoin Okay, so uh, basically, essentially, non equijoin where you don't have an equality sign. Similarly, you can have greater than, less than, and that will be uh, is a, is a is type of non equijoin. Okay, so so this is a number two type of you know second type of join. Okay, so now let's uh, discuss something even more interesting. So if you see the employee table, we have this uh, my data and in department table these are my data and whenever I write this query in my simple join so basically this is nothing but simple join that we have already discussed so this is simple join we already discussed and what I'm getting is I'm getting all the employee num name and the place where they work if you see in the employee table there are no employee who works for department number 40 so there is a department number which is 40 Boston you don't find any employees working for this department so if we run this simple join then you since you don't have any employee then you are not going to see anything here any 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 information about department number 40 but what I want here is I want if if there is no employee then it should come null null 40 operations and Boston so is there any way you know is there any way that I can write this query rewrite this query whatever is written here so that it will the answer should tell me that okay there is an operation department in Boston but there is no employee okay so in order to get that so what we need to do, we need to do, apply a very simple thing. So look at this. In employee table, we do not have department. So this is say you know in 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 this table. So this is basically what I have employed. This is what I am calling E, right? And this is what I am calling D. This is how, how do we alias them? Okay. So which just first try to find out, and then this is your join condition, right? E dot department number is equal to E dot department number. So which side has less data? Employee or department? Less data means where so basically that means what I'm saying here the department number 40 is available in this table but department number 40 is not available here. So that means this EMP E table E is starving uh, or it's a, it's a less data. Right? So it's less data then what do you do you just make a plus here okay so you have two sides right so basically what I'm saying that I'm just rewriting this part the where condition where e dot department number is equal to d dot department number okay and this is table e employee and this is table d since I have in this part of you know in the left hand side it's less data so therefore I just put a plus sign there so if I put a plus sign then it will give me the result something that whatever I want so it will give me 40 and then null null and if you want to take a look at the query the query will, should look like something like this okay so so the, 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 the idea is that first find out where we have less data and then which side has less data and then put a plus there right essentially this is called outer join okay so this is a number three type of join okay so next question is that we are going to ask is again another um, interesting question so if you see the employee table employee table has employee name employee number e name and manager so let's say employee number 7839 king and he does not have the manager that means King is the boss okay and then next employee is 7698 employee name is black blacks manager is 77839 7839 means is king right so basically what what is happening is that 
black is reporting to king okay then clark so clark's manager is 7839 again 7839 is king so let's do this thing so this is clark and this is black and then jones is 7839 so again jones is also reporting to king okay martin martin is rep is reporting to 7698 so 7698 is black so basically martin is under black okay so essentially what happened is you know in this table i can figure it out by analyzing the data right by analyzing the data i can figure it out that who is reporting to whom who is his manager so can you write a query that will display the employee name like it will say display key, uh, like king since king doesn't have any any manager so uh, you know it may not give anything it then it will ask that blacks manager is king and then martins manager is so martins manager is black so basically what is what i'm looking forward is to is that write a query which is going to give me the employee name and their respective managers okay so to solve this problem let's think about this way you consider employee table twice okay same employee table let's say first one is e1 and second one is e2 in e1 what i have is let's say i just consider this 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 column okay so manager column from employee 1 and employee number column from employee 2 if i join them okay if i join them then i will get the answer okay how do i get answer so okay so let's basically take a look at the query so in that way it will be better to explain all right so, so what i do i select employee e1's e name works for e2's e name this table's e name as a manager from employee e1 employee e2 basically i'm just trying to the like, same table e1 and e2 are the you know e1 is one table but i'm trying to, uh, trying to imagine are there di two different table and then what i'm joining is i'm joining e1.mgr to e2.emp number okay so essentially what i'm doing i'm joining you know i'm joining the same table okay and this is basically called self join okay so this is the last type of join okay so what we are discussed in this chapter is this types of join so join is basically something that is going to help you to get data from different tables and then uh, the first type of join that we learn is this one since equal sign we call equijoin somebody call simple join natural join inner join they're all of them are same then also is a Cartesian join. So Cartesian join is this one, without any where condition. Okay. Then we discuss about outer join. So outer join is that additional thing that we need to have, and we added a plus here. All right. And then, then we discuss about non-equation. So example that I want to know the employee and the salary grade in which he's uh, he's at and the last one is self join which I discussed if I want to find out who the who is the manager of an employee so th with this we, we we completed the join uh, you know in SQL in Oracle SQL join is the one of the very important thing and you need to understand to write really complex queries